What I don't get is this. Does any woman who is a dark-skinned white woman ever complain about lack of representation in the media? Does anyone who's of any other complexion in any other race complain about this? No. And, you know, honestly, if you think of it, white people veer closer to their white side, their fairer side, than their darker side. Most of their history, at least, as far as representation, you still don't see them crying about it. But with black Americans, they get the whole standard of blackness, the whole view of blackness, and still somehow they're not represented. They're still not represented by the media, even though the main, what is the image of a black person? Is it really the image of Stephen Curry? Is a black man the image of, do people just visualize Stephen Curry? No, they don't. They see Shaquille O'Neal. And somehow, somehow, there's no representation. When we think of a black woman, we don't think of a, a woman who looks like, for example, um, say, for example, Vanessa Williams. No one thinks of Vanessa Williams. People think of people like, for example, at least uh, Michelle Obama, at least. Many times people are thinking of Viola Davis, who is an outlier of the black American phenotype at that. The average black woman looks more brown skinned, more similar to Michelle Obama, but many look different from her too. Um, mm -hmm. So that's why it's like so weird people say that there's no representation when the actual image of a black woman is a dark skinned black woman or, you know, a darker skinned black woman generally. It's usually darker than the average black woman is even. Yet somehow, somehow, dark-skinned black people are not represented in the media. What the fuck do you mean? You, you, you just are lying at this point. You know that's not true. You're just making it up to get points for people to be like, oh, she's trying to help us in one way or another. That's not even helping you guys, because you already are represented. You just want to see some value in Chrissy's channel. And there is none. You know, all it is made out to do is make dark skinned black people look really badly and seem like they don't love their skin tone. My mother says this about some of her videos. And my mom's seen some of her videos, and she's a dark skinned black woman. I've seen other people talk about Chrissy's channel too, who are dark skinned black women who don't believe in colorism, you know? So to me, I just do not agree with people saying, oh, it's not just about black men, it's about representation in the media. When the image of a black woman is literally you. So what do you mean you don't have representation? Are you saying that stereotypes are made in the media and so forth about black women? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, it's only for dark-skinned black women. So the rest of us, light-skinned and brown-skinned black women, we go around society and they tell us that, no, they're not going to stereotype us. They're not going to give us the same generalizations and connotations as dark-skinned black women because they saw that we were able to pass a paper bag to us. Yeah, that fucking never happened. That whole conversation never fucking happened. You know that. Light-skinned, brown-skinned, dark-skinned black people, we all have connotations for being black women. That has nothing to do with it. So don't even try to say corrective representation when corrective representation would have to do with all black women because all black women are portrayed negatively if we're talking about stereotypes. So that's what I have to say on this, basically. You know, they're basically trying to say that she addresses colorism in other regards. Colorism doesn't exist. I have yet to have somebody explain to me how colorism exists. Because every way you say it exists, I experience it too. And I see a light-skinned black people experience it too. So I know that you are fucking lying. And you are just making up that you have colorism 
when it's not colorism, it's racism. There's massage noir. I'm not denying that. I know there's racism. I know there's sexism. I know we deal with both. But it's not just dark-skinned black women who deal with just sexism and racism. You really expect black women who aren't dark to not experience racism. What the fuck do you think we are? You really think we're white women? Like, something's wrong with you. You haven't looked at a white woman or something. Like, obviously we're going to deal with racism and sexism just as much as the next person. And it's not going to be more just because someone's darker. Heck, most of the races don't even know we have a complexion difference, especially not white people. And white people are the majority of the society. So that's all I have to say in this video. Um, as far as her addressing colorism and other aspects of her platform, she doesn't because it doesn't exist one. And as far as representation, that's just a bunch of bullshit because like I said, what we usually visualize in our heads for a black woman is not Vanessa Williams. So you know very well it is representative of dark skinned black women, especially even though they're a minority, but yeah. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and have a great day, guys. Bye.